took a very unique approach because of the challenges. It was semi-park, semi-production, uh, commercial production. We had our own uh, farmer's market, fruit stand. Uh, we also, I also broke the trees, fruit trees and stuff like that. And really created a network of local growers. So people would bring their soursop or their limes and we would create this network of local growers so people could get local produce. And this was the kind of the, the main growing area. And then we had a, a nursery fruit stand on US-1 right down the street. And we had some really rare trees on the property. And so that, that was kind of neat too. We were producing some really cool rare fruit and propagating that stuff as well. Uh, and uh, kind of overcame a lot of the challenges with the county. Like I said, we, we uh, this became the precedent for agriculture. We were able to do that through beekeeping. So once we once we got the bees, uh, it allowed us to do. I was able to get a special uh, special use permit for ag, and that opened up some more doors. And then from that, um, actually two places. And I think in Tavernier and Key Largo uh, followed suit, and, and they had their own little agricultural property now to do. So it was kind of a kind of a cool thing. Um, and yeah, just before the storm, it was really just becoming quite the uh, unique place. A lot of uh, visitors, a lot of uh, we're producing more fruit. We were already focusing on breadfruit. You guys are familiar with breadfruit. Mm -hmm. uh, we were planting more of that um, for several reasons. One reason, this is the only place in the continental United States that can grow breadfruit, that can fruit it, and doesn't have to worry about cold killing, killing the tree, or at least damaging enough that you're not going to have a crop that year. And also because I was already working with a lot of places up in Homestead, uh, it was a good product to bring up the keys instead of just always bringing stuff down, and having a product that could go up. And, and the chefs in Miami really liked the fact that I had local bread food. Uh, so we could charge uh, top dollar for that. Um, so we were doing that and then Irma hit in, uh, on September 10th, whatever it was. 2017 and kind of just brought everything to a halt. Destroyed our storefront and all our all the, the nursery, all the all the stuff that I was propagating, like really rare stuff, was was destroyed. 